First, uh, sorry about the loss. Um, maybe, maybe just take me through how you have dealt with someone obviously clearly that was close to your young uncle. And I mean, it's it 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 is what it is. So at this point, I don't want to go a circle back and you know what I feel. It's obviously a personal thing, and I don't want to keep it you know um, too much away from the team. You know, I'm back and happy to be back. You know, watching the games from far away it was not easy, but um, at this point in the season, we just focus on ourselves, man, and try to win some games. When you when you when you get back? I been last night. Okay. Okay. Um, the reason I'm asking about you, obviously, it's important to you. So, what, 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 what role or how has importance to you in, in in your life growing up? I mean, he was like my big brother. So, okay. you know, one of the few people, maybe only one, to know me since I was born, and you know, talked to him pretty much every day, a few times a day. So, it was a big deal. So, um, obviously. You're welcome back, and a lot of the guys talked about how, you know, being supportive of you through this. How, did you, how much did you feel that from your from your teammates? Big time, man. Some teammates, owners, you know, organization. And just, you know, I can't thank enough. You know, never take for granted, especially being new here. And, you know, a few months in, you know, Matt and, you know, just whole organization teammates. Nothing but, you know, fully support by awards, by, you know, commitment. So... You couldn't do it without them, so for sure. I'm curious. Just you said it was hard to watch the game. What what did you see in the last couple that you're like ah? You know, dealing with this and you know waking four in the morning watching games and you know you'd be even more pissed off that when you're away from and just watching TV. But just you know battling, you know you know we not at this point in the season we know what we you know going through and if we not Phoenix Suns no one would care about it. You know, we, you know, make the team, the super team, and everybody wants you to fail, and that's normal. Book had talked about just saying, you know, he feels that they need to get it together. That's on him, KD, you know, all the leaders. Just what do you see with you guys being able to kind of turn it around? I mean, and, it's, you know, obviously it started with this, you know, head of the snake, and those guys are, our, you know, best players. But at the same time, we, you know, role players and, Starters, bench, whoever. We need to make sure that the our stars has more than whatever shot they got. So I think to us to be able to you know win the games and making big leads, our stars need to be in position to to do that. So I think it's on us too to make sure they getting right you know amount of looks and just playing the game the right way. I feel like a lot of times we do that, but then you know four quarters thing it's something else. There's a lot of outside noise. How do you guys kind of quiet that, both individually and as a team? It will quiet themselves, you know. At this point, you can't really stress too much what people are going to say. You know, I see when being back home away from the team and, you know, they start being about this KD stuff. And, you know, for me, it's, it's ridiculous because you're competing against people like that and media kind of put perspective who they are. And then you met them, and you'll be like, damn, there's nothing to do with him. And it sucks because he, he does, you know, obviously he's a great player, and he, I think, deserved the respect he got at the same time. And you see how media kind of perspective, it just sucks. You know, there's no way around when, you know, a guy like that, in particular KD, you know, I feel like it was mellow at some, some point in the career when he got to the Portland. We was looking like, who's going to come to us? And how he going to handle, you know, business in the, in the locker room and in the games. But he just competing, man. Like, you know, I was really surprised who he is as a person. Low-key and just, you know, about his business and doing everything right away around us. But you can't control what people are going to say, so. That experience with with uh, Melo did that make you even look at Durant's situation? Have a more you had a better perspective on on Durant by by being Carmelo's teammate. Yeah, for sure. You know, it, it's, it just sucks the the people can put basically opinion about who you are, and maybe not not fair, but uh, 
you know, have nothing to do with the, with KD as far as what, what we think who he is. But when you around him and see the, he's just a great guy, man. Like, period. Like, you know, meetings, games, practices. You know, I was really surprised the way they competed at his age. And that's when I got here. Like, I was like, we're going to be good. We just need to stay healthy. And everybody knows that, I think. How does he kind of inspire you as a player, too, just the way that he's been able to take care of his body? I mean, it's amazing. Like, I've been long enough in the league, seeing a lot of players do that. But, you know, I feel like from a, his injury standpoint, Achilles, to come back and be who he is today is just impressive. There's no, like, words you can describe that. Yep. Had a great game in the last game. Just maybe just what's sticking with you now about that career performance. I know it came in a loss, but how, yeah. how, how are you feeling about it now that's sort of digested a little bit? Yeah, uh, it felt good. Obviously, a uh, good individual performance, but uh, like you said, it would have been better uh, with, with the win. Um, I just think, like, the there was a lot of activity. Um, and I think in, in, in return, it just kind of added up to points in, in, in rebounds, obviously, on the stat sheet. So I think um, just need to keep that same intensity, um, not just for myself, but for the rest of the team. And uh, I think it's going to start turning into wins for us. What got you going in the game? I mean, I, I came in the game and, you know, got a couple easy looks. Uh, a couple rebounds fell right into my hand, and then from there it was just like you kind of just felt what kind of night it was going to be. Um, and then once I once I kind of felt that, then I was just kind of just thinking more so how can I help turn this into a win for us because obviously desperately needed at this point. How, how big will it be having Nurkic back? Man, it'd be really big for us. Um, obviously, he's he's, he's a big big part of the offense. Um, as far as getting getting guys looks and, and all that, and then defensively, um, he's there anchoring us. Um, so it, it's going to be it's going to be big to have him back. How do you look to build off that personal performance that you had? Yeah, like I mentioned, just just keeping that same intensity um, and, and that same activity on the glass. And um, I know in return it'll 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 show as far as um, you know points and and um, helping the helping the offense and giving us more second chance looks and everything. What stands out to you and just your impressions of, of this Rockets team and kind of that young core? Yeah, they're uh, they're they're really good. Obviously, um, led by a great great coach in Ime, um, who's kind of turned them around from where they were at last year. And uh, they have really good really good players um, from top to bottom. Uh, I feel like you know with Shangun being like the head of the snake almost, and um, you know it's going to start with slowing him down. That's all I got. Yep. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.